right, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got some good shit. Just watch. What? Who's there? Sorry, but I gotta make this quick. What? On to the next one. Thug life! Hello, my violence loving buddies. This is Depassion, also known as Mikel, and welcome to another episode of Journey to No More Heroes 3. We're currently on No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. Ooh, we got one hell of a warrior to face. Don't forget Ryuji, though. Don't forget him. Gold Dan does one hell of a fight as well with this warrior. Mm. So damn good, I'm not even going to mention their name. I'm not going to mention their name in this segment until they give the name. Because there's a powerful scene, and them doing the name drop is so, so damn good. It's way better. Also, um, for any viewers that are just watching this and haven't gone through the games beforehand, I don't want to spoil this for them. Like, specifically, the scene is all kinds of important. It just feels... Oh, so it's a little bit more powerful. Anyway, my geekiness aside. <laughs> We're gonna go with Camellia 3. We're gonna see that and thunder. Let's bring the thunder with Camellia 3. Let's give it a try anyway. It's got damn my struggle. <laughs> I'm gonna zip it now because it's a good ass cutscene. I'll, I'll try and keep quiet. <laughs> I've glasses. Travis Touchdown, correct? Yeah, that's me. The No More Hero. How unfortunate. Right when I'm about to reach the top, you have to find me. I was hoping we'd fight after I became number one. Sorry to crush your dreams. I hate to do it, but I've got business with that son of a bitch. And I can't let you get to him first. Please, don't think of me as a nuisance. But I will make sure your victory isn't easy. My pride as the second rank requires that much. Honorable. Oh. I like that in a woman. I've seen a lot in my journey up the ranks. Such good design. Oh. Cycle of violence now broadcast as a spectator sport. Oh, Why, so Travis? Cool. Why do so many assassins join if we are all going to end up killing each other in the end? Does it really matter why? To me, it does. It matters more than anything. We've all become trapped, don't you see? Addicted to the violence, to a life in the shadows. Once we join the ranks, we can never get out. Don't be stupid. If you get tired of the battles, just fucking quit. But that's why we all want to fight you, to learn your secret. Don't you get it? Get what? You are the crownless king, the one who got out. You reached the top. Then walked away. Well, I'm back now, aren't I? With you, it is different. You are the no more hero. Show oh. me your passion. Release me hey. from this cycle. Free us all in a crimson sea. You asked for it. Bring it on. I'll show what I can. <laughs> oh boy, that's, that's a strong ass cut scene. Visual storytelling and everything, man. I'll disappoint, I'll do what I can, man. Bring the thunder. Ugh. I usually struggle with Alice, so if I zip it for quite a bit of this fight, I'm furiously concentrating. The dodges that really uh, get me hella nervous, I get, I get Gene flashbacks and No More Heroes 1. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't want you in that corner. 
I don't want to pick up the piece or anything by accident. I really don't. There we go. Get away from there. Oh, that's that freaking rolling, dude. It's... Honestly scares me. <laughs> Come on! Yeah, I'm more than that, madam. Come on. I suffered through too many rehearsals. <gasps> Just go! Dropping your, your whole freaking apparatus on your back still. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. No, don't, don't, don't roll up. Don't spin, because the game treats you as if you're standing up and not blocking. It's really annoying. There we go. Okay, I might have this. Oh god. Excuse me being so quiet. Jesus. <laughs> Get out of here! Travis, you are incredible. Everything I hoped for. Tell me your name. Promise me you won't forget. There once was an assassin named Alice. I won't forget, Alice. Alice dead. Sylvia! You are now officially ranked second. See that? Now that was a battle. Look at this blood. We humans are alive, even if we are assassins. Doesn't matter if it's a video game, movie, drama, anime, manga, we're alive! People shed blood and die. This isn't a game. You can't just selfishly use death as your tool. This is Alice's blood. I bet you've already forgotten she existed. Same way you would have forgotten me. And that's why I'm tearing down the UAA! Are you done bitching? You could never shut down the association. Fighting to be the best is human nature. It's evolution. Who are we to try and stand in its way? Fuck that. I want to be a hero by my own standards. You need to wake up, Travis. Take your own goddamn advice. Ooh. All right, there's a lot to unpack in those two scenes. Okay. Oh god, that one had a boss fight. Good night, Alice Twilight. Now, Alice Twilight and Margaret Moonlight, um, it's in one of those pictures that they're standing, they're standing in the same picture together. That, um, among those pictures, Alice is burning. So, a lot of fans uh, speculate, I don't know if it's confirmed or not, that Alice and Margaret are related. I'm, I'm just going to stick with it and just believe they are. Um, 
There's this one hell of a Rankins board and this one hell of a weird life to Santa destroy. Go make money somehow. Go find your place in the world somehow. This is one of those crazy ass things sometimes. So I guess maybe in one scenario or another, like, oh yeah, God, do this. Who knows? From revenge or another. Maybe they're just going up the ranks for revenge for their mother or something. Who knows? Jasper Bat Jr. has, like, screwed a lot of people over. Just in general, just the whole friggin' city, one way or another. But, ooh, that boss fight was a lot. <laughs> oh, there's a lot to unpack overall. Oh, God, there's... The fact that she's heading up, she's actively heading up the ranks as well. Um, it got me thinking, like... What if we were too late? We end up heading there and she ain't there. And turns out we got to chase after her, kill her, and then go straight for the rank number one. Like, all kinds of crazy shit like that. Who knows? There's one hell of a rampage. Um, up to Alice, because it's different. It's just a lot more people than ever before. Uh, Margaret Moonlight gave us that as well. But, ooh, man. That's a lot. Oh, so much I could say. God damn, there really is a lot I could say. A lot on my mind about that fight. Travis, it's me. Are you ready for your last battle to the death? We got a special yeah. scene though. <laughs> you know where to go? It's close by. Hold on. Someone's at the door. It's my first time here, isn't it? Shit. A VIP just showed up. Talk to you soon. Sure. Sylvia, I can't figure you out. I got bandage on your hand. You don't like me? I didn't say that. Very low res. But there's a lot of things about you I don't get. You lie. You're greedy. You're a fucking contradiction in heels. You hate me. Well, your personality kind of sucks. So you do hate me. I'm crazy about you. What do you mean? Fuck if I know. Fuck. There's so much fucking merch in the background in that cutscene. That always makes me giggle. Dog. You said it! You freaking said it! <laughs> and, um, another cool thing, she's actually just still, she's still just chilling out there. Still chilling out there. But, um, yeah, that was, uh, a <laughs> Just great cutscene after great cutscene, baby. I, I will never go over the fact that there's so much frigging merch in the background while that's happening. It's so goofy. Right. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got two throws. Let's see what we got. Just gonna do some light reading after just banging one out. It says modified tombstone pile driver. Learned modified <laughs> modified tombstone pile driver. <laughs> so much so much friggin' happens in this episode, man. I wasn't ready for so much at once. Shit. Wait. Right, weekly backdrop ten. I think this might be the final one actually. It says Giant Swing Kick-Ass Edition. Learn Giant Swing. This is literally one of the best throws in the game. It's, it's quite damn good. It's quite fun to use. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> okay, so uh, we'll fuss over Jean while I'm fussing over Jean. I'll talk about what's been happening. I'm just I'm doing my best to really like, process everything. And everything has come to mind. But, um, yeah, uh, with... With Alice burning all those uh, photos, right? Especially seeing it from my HDMI, uh, uh, HDMI uh, cable, just so much better. With this TV, um, 
she really is just burning all ties with just like her past life and being like, yep, whether I live or die, that's it. I'm going out, I'm gonna kill Jasper. I'm just like, holy fucking shit. Why you what, dude? Yay, lost some pounds, baby. Proud of you. It's so good. So much. Close. There's so much not said. Nice. There's so much not said in this game. And it, in a way, hurts this game, but at the same time, just with the wonderful fun of just speculation, yeah, yeah. it kind of adds to it adds to the game in its own wonderful way. For me, right, it's it's my it, it's kind of like in parallel with how, for example, Dragon Ball Z, how it's lasted so long, how it's just stayed so interesting for people. Nice. Oh, that's a great jump, sweetie. Mainly because there's so many things that are just not answered, and you're just infinitely speculating. There's still questions people ask when it comes to that series, so. That's where No More Heroes 2 seems to stand for me when it comes to the story. But then even in No More Heroes 1, there's tons of unexplained stuff. Like, how did anyone get in the rankings in the first place or anything? Like, not everything has to be explained, but... Not every cutscene has to be just blitzed through like, uh, Let's Shake from No More Heroes 1 either. Like, God damn. For some characters, they're just so interesting in their interactions with Travis. I just love it. It's quite exciting. There we go, Gene. That's gotta do it. Yeah, there we go. But it's a wonderful time. It's a wonderful time playing that when you rise too. And I've honestly, oh yeah, not fun easy doing this. It's been real great to return to this game, but yeah, we're gonna be facing the rank one assassin next. And I'm honestly quite nervous, because after that I'll be just going straight onto the review and then straight into no more heroes. Sorry, Travis Strikes again, no more heroes. Yeah, and there will be a lot. There'll be a lot for me to do in Travis Strikes again because I have the least amount of knowledge on that one, I will admit. I've only had like one full playthrough on it and been like, yep, cool, happy with that. I was all kinds of busy with uni, so that didn't help. <laughs> and I have plenty of other games I was enjoying as well. So it's kind of unfortunate in a way that this is when... Uh, this is when I really get back into the game, get back into the whole series, and I've not given... Travis Strikes again a lot of attention. I was literally talking to my girlfriend today and I found I was genuinely a bit nervous. Well, as of the day of this recording, uh, the 4th of the 7th, uh, 2020. I was genuinely just like, hmm, can I actually do this? Can I actually do this? Can I finish this and still finish uh, my whole journey to my Heroes 3 on time? I feel like I can. I feel like I can. As long as my quality stays up, I'm happy. Because I just want to keep you guys entertained and just enjoying the No More Heroes series and learning as much as I can give, really, without needing to look up on a wiki page and reading up on it like crazy or just playing the game yourself, just any of that kind of thing. But there's a lot. There's a lot that's been on my mind when it comes to just going for this series in general. But that's what No More Side Jobs episodes are for. So before I pull the hell out of you guys, I'm, I may just end it here, alright? Because uh, next time, we got to hit the gym. Because Travis still has one more start to get. We're going to be back at Ryan's gym next episode. Until then, this has been De Passion, also known as Mikel. See you on the next journey. Take care. It's kill or be killed. Number one.